Hi class, we're in chapter 5 and we're talking about clouds and precipitation and I just wanted to go over some of the differences of some different forms of precipitation. So here we have a figure from your textbook that is illustrating formation process of rain, snow, sleet, and glaze. And notice in each of these graphs we have a temperature profile. Blue indicates freezing, pink or red indicates above freezing temperatures, so we would expect solid water or ice, ice crystals or snow in this freezing range, and then we're down here in the red or pink, we'd expect liquid water. So in our rain illustration here, we start up at the top. Um, in the clouds, we can have ice crystals and snow forming. As it falls, it's going to reach an altitude where the temperature is the melting point of water, 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And as it falls below that, then we have liquid water. So the snow melts and we have rain. And remember, rain are drops that are at least a half a millimeter in diameter. If we get smaller than a half a millimeter, we call it drizzle. So for rain, we can have formation in freezing temperatures, really cold, high cloud tops. That's really common in mid-latitudes. And in that case, we have the Bergeron process that causes the formation of the ice crystals. And that's remember, that's because the uh, condensation um, of the water vapor onto the ice crystals happens a lot more rapidly than it does into the water droplets. So then we have the formation of snow. Over here, notice we're totally in the freezing temperature range here. So we're in the solid water ice phase through all elevations. And then sleet and glaze down here, it's a little bit more confusing. The big difference between sleet and glaze is that with sleet, the rain freezes before it hits the ground or hits some surface. With glaze, the, it's still liquid. The water is still liquid until it actually touches something. And then when it touches something is when it freezes. So it causes a glaze on that surface. And so you can actually have super cooled liquid water that's cooled below zero degrees Celsius and when it actually touches is when it freezes um, to a solid form. Whereas over here with sleet, it freezes to a solid form before it actually hits the ground. So one, two more actually, hail, um, hard ice pellets, um, and they form in cumulonimbus clouds. In cumulonimbus clouds there are a lot of uplifts, so remember these are really tall clouds. They stretch all the way through the three different le cloud levels that we uh, have talked about. And so these hailstones, these solid ice round pellets, get, keep getting pushed up and they fall down and they get pushed up and they fall down. And in that process, they grow and they grow and they grow and they grow until they're big enough that they can actually fall all the way down towards the ground as hailstones. And they can achieve a pretty high velocity and be really damaging. One last form of precipitation is rime. This is beautiful, delicate ice crystals, and this is formed from supercooled fog or cloud droplets. And so it's really cold. And so it's like glaze, but it, it's much smaller droplets. So they form these really beautiful, delicate ice crystals. So there we have our forms of precipitation. Let me know if you have any questions.